Mike Bozzi. Yeah. <laughs> Bonsai. Mike Bozzi. Mastering yeah. engineer. Mixer. We were just talking about how it used to be back in the day with the analog and how the digital medium has really affected and changed everything. Absolutely. Um, it's easier now. Well, for me, at least. Yeah, back in the good. day of, of tape when everything was run in real time, um, you, you couldn't screw up. Now you you can screw up. <laughs> you can screw up a lot and yeah. not really do any damage. But back in those days, it was yeah. a lot more time consuming. But um, you had one shot. That was Sometimes. it. And thank God for progress with technology. It's made my life a lot easier. I'm sure it has yours as well. If you've never mastered and you master, you always master. Um, <laughs> you bring that aren't in right. the mix. You can't like we were talking about getting if he gets mixes that are already distorted. It's like what am I going to do with this? Same thing with mixing when I'm getting files and yeah, all the tracks banging, but then you put the vocal in, it's distorted. It's like uh, guys, want to re recut that vocal, please? <laughs> <laughs> right. No, I can't really fix that too much. A little bit. A really good <laughs> mix sounds amazing, mastered. A good mix sounds good mastered, <laughs> but exactly. again, like if it's if it's not already in the mix, I can't magically make things appear. Um, and the so. opposite is true too. If it's not not broke, don't fix it. <laughs> right? Just, no, exactly. I mean, not knowing when to not do anything is yeah. is, is as important as saying, exactly. "Well, I think I know what I'm going to do right for this track." So well, mixing is really important because it's got to fit the song. I approach every song, you know, listening to it a few times before even start. Say, okay, I see what it, and it, the, the song tells me how to mix it. Same with mastering. But I think it also, you have to have, kind of have an ear for it. Like I do a lot of R&B and hip hop, but I grew up on R&B and hip hop. Whereas the guys before me, it was a new genre that none of them were really interested in. So I think bringing a little bit of my personal love of hip hop to the, you know, to the sound and then, and knowing what, as a fan, I'd appreciate whether that's a big bottom end or you know clarity in the vocals or those hats sizzling or, or whatever the the effect whatever calls for right? right i mean in mastering you're just trying to help get the translation across top five projects that's I've a worked tough on. one that's all right personally uh all three kendrick records um to pimp a butterfly good kid mad city and damn um not surprisingly scissors album both on the same label but for different reasons the, the kendrick stuff is really kendrick's the guy that kind of put me on as far as people you know paying attention to who's mastering those projects and coming to me because of that body of work um so that was a lot of fun uh tyler the creator's last album was a blast to work on over 15 years or so now i've been doing lots of reggae music so a lot of them are going to be like for instance right now my favorite's are chronics album um, Damien Marley, Welcome to Jam Rock, that whole album. Stephen Marley, all this stuff I love, working with Stephen a lot. Um, trying to think some of Madonna stuff that I did back in the 90s. Um, all that hip hop in the 90s was great, Jodeci and Biggie and oh, wow. Even, yeah. So Bring say, the reggae here. <laughs> <laughs> My Grammys, for sure. Got five of them. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> I've got zero, but I've got four nominations. So I'm, I'm just happy to be yeah, in that yeah. mix when, when yeah, you, yeah, I'm really excited for Glenn's project elevation. I mean, I'm really proud of him too. I've watched him grow over the last 10 years and he's really, I'm just so proud of him. I can't say enough. It's a great record. He put his heart and soul into it and he's just wonderful to work with and just wonderful human being. I met Glenn a year ago, Glenn, maybe a year ago. And I remember him telling me about this project then, that he had it in the pipeline and, you know, life gets in the way of those things. Sometimes you got other things, you got to make your money, you got to pay your rent. Um, but he walked in today, damn, like that's 11 tracks of fire. <laughs> like it, it just, I told him, half a dozen times today how impressed i was just like this is all you like it, it's amazing um you can tell he put a lot of time into it and, and just heart and soul absolutely um and it's it's got a lot of different flavors it's kind of old school in a way but current and live and programmed together 
um, he's going to be trouble. 